Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're gonna to be going into a couple products from Tekton and the Toolbox Widget. The Toolbox Widget is a brand that I've used for a few years now. I have their socket organizers, their plier organizers, and their wrench organizer. Their wrench organizer was their first organizer that they actually ever released. And I gotta say, their product has saved me a lot of space. I've used a lot of different organizers in the past and by far Toolbox Widget saved me the most space. And it is extremely versatile. I have videos dedicated to the Toolbox Widget organizers, so if you guys want to, go ahead and check those out. But today, we're gonna to be comparing the wrench organizers from the Toolbox Widget to Tekton's new wrench organizer that is the same type of organizer. It's a modular design so you can fit it into basically any kind of drawer setup or any type of situation you can fit as many wrenches as possible over pre-built organizers where you're limited to how many wrenches it's going to hold and how much room it's going to take up so we're going to go over the specs features pricing of both designs and let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments which one you guys would go with so let's go ahead and get right into this both of these products will be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested okay youtubers so here you can see we have the toolbox widget over here and the tecton over here the toolbox widget come in sets of 12 as far as their wrench organizer this is the box and it just has some basic information on here some more information on the back if you guys would like to pause take a look at that but we're going to be going over all of this uh, and here you can see the website but once again I'll have the websites linked down in the description for you guys so as far as the toolbox widget like I said it's going to hold 12 wrenches that's one pack and that's going to run $20 for a pack of 12 and their setup it's going to include some of these double wrench holders and then some single wrench holders and this allows you to basically reach from the front of the drawer to the back of the drawer uh, and get as close as possible because if you had only doubles then you may leave you know some empty space whereas this can get you a little bit closer so that is nice to see the Tekton is going to be a very similar setup so these you can get in a much different variety as far as the toolbox widget you can also get them angled like the Tekton over here where these are straight up. But as far as getting them in singles, I believe you may have to call in order to purchase like let's say you already bought a pack of 12 and you just need like one more or two more and you don't want to spend $20. I don't necessarily know if you can just purchase them individually. I don't know if that's a thing. It, I don't see it on their website. You may have to purchase another pack for $20. Where the Tekton you can get packs ranging from five. When I say five, I mean it will hold five wrenches. A five pack all the way up to a 40 pack. So five wrenches up to 40 wrenches. Anywhere from five to 20, you can get them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, without skipping a, you know any sizes, all the way up to a 20 piece set. Then they have a 27 piece set, which is what we actually have here. And then they have a 40 piece set quite a big variety. Now, you heard me say that it was f five piece sets up to 40 piece sets, but you can also buy them individually. The best deal as far as money wise is going to be buying them as kits, even if you just need a five piece. The five piece set to the 20 piece set, it's gonna be $1 per. So if I got the 20 piece organizer, it'd be $20. The 27 piece organizer like we see here, and the 40 piece organizer are actually cheaper. The 27 piece here is $25, so you know, 90 something cents. And then the 40 piece is $35. So basically the bigger kit that you get, the cheaper it is, but the most expensive is $1, unless you buy them completely individually, just one organizer. And I should clarify that basically it's called a small and a large. This is their small organizer, this is their large organizer. So for the small, it will be $3. For the large, it will be $4. And that's if you buy them individually. That's why I was saying basically it's cheaper to just buy the five piece set if you just need a couple. I just wanted to clarify that. So as far as pricing, I believe Tekton has the better pricing. 
and availability of different size sets and being able to easily purchase them individually. As far as the toolbox widget, that's gonna range around $1.66 each. But keep in mind that this is the Pro Series. They do also now have a DIY series, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. Some differences are going to be with the toolbox widget, you actually have a missing tool indicator. So you can see that orange stripe down there. So when you have a wrench missing, you can easily see that. Whereas the Tekton is just solid, uh, no missing tool indicator. So both sets have their small and large design, like I showed you with the Tekton, or single and double tool holders. The Tekton is actually available in red and black, whereas the toolbox widget, what you see here is what you get. I do like that this is available in two different colors, so you could do metric in red, SAE in black, or vice versa. That is a nice feature if you want to look at it that way. The other thing about the toolbox widget that I really like is each one, whether it be the big or the small, has a strong magnet built into the base of it. And these do work through any standard drawer liner. I've had them in my Husky box and my Matco box, and it works no problem through the drawer liner. And without a drawer liner, they are extremely strong. Whereas the Tekton does not have any magnets built into the base. You could probably figure out a way to install magnets if you really wanted to, but we'll get into why that's not such a big deal depending on your situation here in just one minute. So the Tekton doesn't have a magnet, but it does have a much wider base than the toolbox widget as you can see there. So I do feel like these are more sturdy, even though these are magnetized. I just feel like the Tekton ones are a little sturdier because of that base. They also have basically little feet. I'm not sure how well the camera is gonna pick that up, but they have little feet that actually kind of digs into that drawer liner that prevents them from moving around. But once again, if you have this many organizers and wrenches on them, they're not gonna be moving around. They both carry a lifetime warranty. Now I haven't had to warranty any of the toolbox widget stuff, but they are very easy to contact. So I'm sure, uh, and just from the understanding of how they have their warranty typed out or whatnot, it does seem very easy to get in contact with them. And Tekton, I've never had an issue with their warranty process. Tekton probably has one of the best warranty processes on the market as far as tools. And I wish more companies were like the, uh, Tekton warranty. The Toolbox Widget is a veteran owned and operated company, which I really enjoy as a fellow veteran. I think uh, it's always great to support other veterans. Both of these do have labels available. As far as the Tekton, from the front view you can see here, you kind of have this open space over here. They do have stickers that you can purchase. I forgot to look up the price. If I do look it up, I'll throw the price in here. It's very affordable for the stickers and uh, very easy to label each one. The toolbox widget also has a label and that is going to be these little plastic caps, basically. And you can see the openings on the toolbox widget. These just simply drop in. Now the issue that I've had with the toolbox widget is that they don't have all the sizes in these. Maybe it's changed over the last year or so, but when I ordered a few of these packs, it didn't come with all the SAE fractions that I needed or the metric sizes, but it was enough so I could easily figure out, you know, what was in between the 10 and the 12 and 13 millimeter, you know. So it still has a good variety. The Tekton is built to resist high temperatures, heavy impacts, resist chips, cracks, fuel, solvents, you know, grease, all of the chemicals that you may run into. As far as dimensions, I don't have the dimensions of the double, I'm sorry. The dimensions are going to be one and a half inches tall, one inch wide, and three quarters inches long from front to back. The Tekton, as far as the small, this is going to be 1.6 inches tall, so just a hair taller than the toolbox widget, as you can see there. Very similar in height, very similar in length from front to back. So 1.6 inches tall, 2.3 inches wide. Obviously you can tell uh, the Tekton design is just a much wider design. And then the length from front to rear is going to be 0.7. So very similar to the three quarter inch on 
the toolbox widget. And then the only difference for the large is going to be that it is 2.2 inches from front to rear. As far as these Tecton ones clipping together, you can see the tab there. You can see the opening here. It just simply slides into place and then clicks and it holds together very well. They're not coming apart or anything like that. Here you can hear it again, clips into place. They aren't going anywhere. And then the toolbox widget uses a couple basically keyways and they slide together and uh, they grip really well also. For the toolbox widget, you do have free shipping if you purchase $150 worth of organizers. For the Tecton, as long as you have a an account with Tecton, then it is free shipping. Or if you pay as a guest, then it is as long as you spend $50, you get free shipping. But it's free to make an account, so I would just do that. The Tecton are going to be made in the USA. And then getting into the DIY series of the toolbox widget, they're going to include no magnet and no missing tool indicator. And they're gonna run $1 each as well. So the pricing more similar to this. But personally, after looking at some of the DIY series, if I was gonna purchase more of the toolbox widget, I would just buy this. Even though they are quite expensive for an organizer, I just feel like the DIY version just wouldn't be up to par for me. Um, but I'm really digging the design of the new Tecton. Obviously that's why I purchased it and I figured it would make for a great video comparing it to the toolbox widget. I think I'm gonna prefer the Tecton organizers truthfully, but I will say in a couple situations, the toolbox widget is you know superior. If you do any mobile work, work out of a van, truck, anything like that, you have toolboxes in your vehicle and you have wrenches in a drawer. Obviously with the magnet, it is going to be a fantastic feature to have to hold these things in place. And even though these, once you have some weight on these, I wouldn't worry about them moving around. Just having that added security of the magnet on the bottom, I think would make it superior for mobile work. So let's go ahead and get these put in a drawer and I will show you guys what they both look like holding some wrenches. Okay, so please bear with me. I do have active stabilization on, on my camera and I'm holding it. So hopefully it's not too shaky. But this is my main wrench drawer in my Husky toolbox. And everything over here is going to be SAE. And then as we move to the center from here, over is all metric. And after installing the Tecton set, I definitely think I'm gonna go with the Tecton organizers for all of my metric and then keep all of the toolbox widget for SAE, no sense in replacing all of it. I just, I really like the width of the Tecton. It makes it extremely stable. It holds the wrenches from rocking as much. Not a big deal. I haven't had any issues with them or anything like that. I just like the width of them. It's not gonna hinder, you know, drawer space or anything like that. It's literally just holding a part of the wrench. But the other thing that I like about it is that it is angled. Now you can also get the toolbox widget in an angled design as well. It is made more specifically for larger wrenches though. It is going to take up much more room because it is at a much steeper angle than what the Tecton is. The Tecton is only at a slight angle, but I do like how easy it is for me to read where the wrenches are. So I may not even need to purchase the stickers to see this. Uh, plus if you use your wrenches all the time, you're gonna know exactly where each one is that you want. Hopefully you guys can kind of get a good view of that. I think both organizers are fantastic. I like both. I just think the Tecton one is probably a little bit better for the money, unless you're going mobile or you think you're actually going to need that magnetic base. And here are the organizers for, as you can see, it doesn't cover all the sizes, but it covers enough for me to know which one's in between, as you can see there. So if you actually think you'll use that magnetic base or you really want that missing tool indicator, I think the toolbox widget is a fantastic organizer. But once again, I'm really happy to see Tecton coming out with another product made in the USA, even if it's as simple as a wrench organizer like this. I love the modular design of both. They really help you adapt to the drawer. And hopefully I've posted pictures. The Tecton actually took up less space to organize these 22 wrenches than the toolbox widget did. So 
once again, both great options if you're looking to save space, be very versatile, and have a good organizer. That is just an overall look at my wrench drawer. And I'll update you guys uh, after I've used this organizer for a little while. But so far, I'm very impressed with it, and it's very affordable. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, if I forgot to mention anything that you guys would like to know about either one of these products, please feel free to drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it for you guys. And uh, other than that, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.